Welcome back to On The Beat, everyone. I'm over here with Dr. Cameron Huxford from the Huxford Clinic, and today we're talking what it really is an important conversation to have, and it's lung cancer screening. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what is lung cancer screening to begin with. Okay, well, similar to women being tested for breast cancer or GYN type cancers or any of us having colonoscopies to test yes. for colon cancer, there is a screening test for lung cancer. All right, so we know there's a test. What is the test? It, the recommendations are now that you would get a CAT scan or a CT scan, which is a, a special x-ray, if you will. Okay. Um, All right, now how do I know I'm, I need a CAT scan? Well, the current recommendations are if you are between the ages of 55 and 80 and you are a past or present smoker, then those people should get an annual CAT scan of their chest. Okay, well, all right. I want to ask you this. If you've given up smoking five years ago, say, do you still come under those guidelines or is it just something in the last 12 months? No, it's, 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 it's technically based on the amount that you've smoked over your, your lifetime. Yeah. But for the most part, we just say... Just to get people in, to, to let them know that there is a test, just if you've smoked in the past or you're currently smoking and you fall between okay. that age group. Can I ask you, is lung cancer a hereditary form like it can be for women with breast cancer and men with prostate? Um, there are some, they're studying that. It doesn't right. appear... I have never heard of no, it. No, there doesn't appear to be a, a, a strong genetic link. The most common risk factor to develop it is smoking. Yeah, look, we, let's face facts, you've got to give up smoking. Correct. Do you know what I mean? And to lead a much healthier life. Um, it was a p big push in Australia and they, the government increased cigarettes to $30 a packet. Wow. It didn't decrease the smoking. It's very people addictive. Are, people give up something else in their life to then still afford the cigarettes. What do you do? Well, a lot of people don't know this, yeah. but, but the nicotine in cigarettes is as addictive as heroin or cocaine. And we all know how bad those that. are. I could see but, that. But uh, yeah. the nicotine is very addictive. Um, the smoke is what hurts people. All right. Now, is this covered by your insurance? Yes. As a general rule, your insurance will cover a screening CAT scan for lung cancer. Okay. How often should we be having these screenings? Let, I come to you today. I'm 55. I was the smoker 10 years ago. You give me the all clear. If it was normal, then the recommendations right now are to repeat once a year. Really? Yes. Is there any, is there any pain in the CAT scan? Oh, no. It's, no. It's, it it what doesn't does it even take like? a minute. Really? You lay down on a table, uh, the table moves you through this uh, donut looking device, you hold your breath and it's over within less than a minute. Well, people feel that they don't want to have those CAT scans because of radiation. Right. Tell us a little bit about that, will you? The ones that are, are for lung cancer screening are actually considered low dose in terms of radiation. So it's, it's not a, a zero risk, but it's a negligible risk to have the test. What are you looking for? Anything abnormal, any little spots that may be worrisome, looking for cancer. Oftentimes we'll find things that may necessitate you having to look at it or do another one more frequently than okay. a year. All right. Look, do I need to get a referral to come to you? So do I need to see my local GP? Because you've talked about many things on our shows. Now, with any of these topics that we've covered, do I need a referral? Or can I just call you and say, hey... I'm being an ex-smoker, I'm, I'm 55, 56, can I come in? My office, we do not require referral from, okay. uh, from other sources to come see Good. us. That's what we like to hear, my okay. friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to find out more information about lung cancer screening, super important, everyone, especially if you were a previous smoker. There's all the information up on the screen. The Huxford Clinic, Dr. Cameron Huxford and his team will give you all the right information that you need back after this short break.